Welcome to the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast, a podcast where we teach speakers how to land paid speaking engagements and corporate contracts. Each week, we deliver high quality content that teaches you how to level up your speaking business. Be sure to join the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group after having your mind blown by this information filled episode. Now, here's your host, Ashley Kirkwood, lawyer and professional speaker. This is the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast. Hey, 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 it's Ashley Kirkwood. I am the host of the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast. I'm also the owner of a law firm called Mobile General Counsel. Super excited to be chatting with you guys today. If you're joining, just drop where you're joining. If you're joining live, right? You're not listening to this on the podcast and you're not listening, watching this on a replay. Just drop where you're from. Drop where you're from. I'm super excited about the discussion we're going to have today. It's kind of a pop-up live. I'm going to do better about this and try to actually plan when I'll go live, but I got a newborn. So actually, I may not be able to plan when I go live or, or have a chance to chat with you guys. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, dope. Just drop your city and state. I love knowing where people are coming from. And come on in, come on in, come on in. Let me see how I'm going to do this. I am going to be talking about today something that I think is super important to discuss and really valuable. We're going to be talking about the mindset shifts you need to make in order to start demanding your rate. So here's the thing. I've been getting a lot of calls and DMs lately about working with me and what that looks like. And even from companies, because a lot of companies right now are in the season where they're still working to do all, they're trying to implement all the promises that they made when there was a huge push for acknowledging what we shouldn't even have to acknowledge, which is Black Lives Matter. Like, why is that tough? But a lot of companies put out a lot of statements. They made a lot of promises. They were like, oh, yes, they matter to us. So we're going to do X, Y, and Z. We're going to get these things done. We're going to do all this stuff. So they've been now calling like, okay, we have to get it done. But a lot of them don't have a budget or they have a small budget or an insignificant budget. And so I want to talk one about courageous conversations, right? And I'm going to keep a note because honestly, I didn't plan to go live, but I want to make sure that I talk about the things that I say we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about courageous conversations. And two, we're going to talk about this whole like being paid your worth, being paid your worth and my thoughts on that. And specifically, what are the mindset shifts that you need to make in order to start getting your rate? So who's heard that? Who's heard, I need to be paid my worth. If you've ever heard that, just put a me in the comments. Like, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. I need to be paid my worth. I get that. I've heard that. If you've ever heard that, just put a me in the comments. Because I want to see like where we're at. Who's all been here, done that. So I work with speakers and typically they're already experts, right? They already have some level of expertise in a particular subject. If you know your expertise, just drop, what is your expertise? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you a DEI consultant? Are you someone who could teach marketing? strategies? Are you someone who's an excellent person? You're excellent at sales, someone who can teach soft skills to college students. Like, what is your expertise? Just drop that in the comments for me as well. And one of the things that I want to say is that a lot of times the reason you're not paid your rate is because you're not equipped to have courageous conversations. And the way that you start to have courageous conversations or those conversations that would be difficult, that would otherwise be difficult to have is that you have your language down. You've heard me, if you followed me for any period of time, you've heard me talk about the way that you negotiate or advocate for yourself is going to shift based on the language. A lot of people don't do it well because they just don't have the language. They don't have the words. And so when someone is like, what's your rate? Or they're pushing back on your rate or they're pushing back on your level of expertise or they're forcing you to do something that you don't want to do. The reason why you have people who totally shut down, like, let me know, if you do you know a person like this? There are some people that if it gets tough, if the conversation doesn't go in the direction that they want it to go in, they either have, they have like, they're fight or flight. They are either completely shutting down or they leave the conversation hurriedly in a rush. Here's why that happens, because they don't have the language to have that conversation. Now we call it, oh, they're immature or whatever. Like we have all these different labels for them, but the reality is we just don't, they don't have the language to have the courageous conversation that they need to have. When someone is disrespecting you, you need to have the courageous conversation of, whoa, that makes me feel X. Is that your intention? But what a lot of us, because we weren't, everyone wasn't necessarily raised to be what we deem as confrontational. Someone made a Facebook post recently and they were like, well, you know, a lot of people give flack 
to the loud girls, the girls who say what they want, the girls who send food back at a restaurant. But those women are happy. Those women know what they want. Those women have boundaries and know how to enforce them. That is 100% the truth. And if you're someone who has set your rate at a certain level, but people are consistently paying otherwise, they're not paying your full rate. They're not paying exactly what you want to charge. That is because you are uncomfortable having courageous conversation and you are not comfortable advocating for yourself. And so when people challenge you, instead of saying what it is that you want, sticking by your rates, using language that's helpful, what you do is you coward back and you then let them pay you less. But here's why that's not helpful. Who on this live, whether you're joining me via Instagram, whether you're listening to this on the podcast, who is interested in helping people transform to be better than where they are? Who has people that come to them to go from point A to point Z? Anyone? Anyone help people get from point A to point Z? If that's what you do, just drop a me in the comments. If you are a transformer, you are someone who helps people to transform from where they're at to where you want them to go. If that's you, just drop a me in the comments because I'm going to tell you how what you're doing by allowing people to underpay you, undervalue you, etc., prevents their transformation. Here's why we cannot, we cannot allow people to circumvent our processes, to underpay on our rates, because here's what it does. You, nobody wants a cheap transformation. Don't nobody want a cheap transformation. And you've seen it. Everybody wants to look high end in the end. You know what I mean? Like everyone wants the high end transformation. If you were to watch a show where a woman is getting a, a transformation, she's lost weight. She comes in like you've seen those shows like on a daytime TV where there's a woman. They're like, we help Susie lose 75 pounds. If Susie came out in a raggedy outfit, 75 pounds lighter, we would be looking at that TV like Mm-mm, this ain't the transformation y'all should have shown. Now she didn't lost some weight, but she looks cheap. Now here's the thing. When we allow people to circumvent our processes, when we allow people to underpay our rates, then what we do is we cheapen the transformation before they start their journey. There's no discount on a transformation. And here's where you have to be the leader that you are. Here's what leaders do. Leaders lead, right? So yes, someone may come to you thinking, oh, I want it cheaper. Oh, I want it. No, but they don't. Even if they don't have the money to pay it right then, they don't want it cheaper. They just have to work their way up to that rate. So instead of you coming down, they will work their way up. I have met several people who have saved money to join our programs. They've saved money to do VIP days with me. And guess what? Those people get that work every time. They transform every time. You know who has a harder time? People have a harder time when they don't have to think about it. Sometimes you're doing your people a disservice by allowing them to discount the transformation before the journey starts. You're doing them a disservice and you're not exhibiting good leadership. Now you can listen to them and every now and then you may do something like gift someone something because that's what you're called to do or or there's a reason for you doing it. But here's where here's where I take issue. I don't even take issue with people giving discounts. I don't think personally, not my way, but I don't take issue with it. Here's where I take issue with it. I take issue when people feel like they have to give a discount that they don't want to give, that they weren't led to give because someone challenged them and they didn't have the language to have a courageous conversation. That's where I take issue. I think that's a huge problem for me. That's a huge problem for me because I know the work that many of you are doing and I know the results and the transformation that many of you provide. And so it's not something that should be discounted or cheap. And you should never be bullied into doing a discount. Now, if you feel like, yeah, I feel led to do this, or I feel called to do this, or I'm going to scholarship someone into a program, or I'm going to do... All of that is different. All of that is different. Yeah, nobody wants a treat transformation. They don't. <laughs> and there's no discount on it. So what we have to do, we have to have the language for those courageous conversations. We need language. So a lot of what I'm teaching speakers is like, okay, this is what you say when this happens. And don't give up your power. So the first mindset shift, I think I wrote them down. Here's the first mindset shift, because I'm just going to get into the shifts. There's three we're going to talk about today. Number one mindset shift. Boom. Drop a one in the comments. We're about to get into it. Number one, there's a mindset. Th this is the shift you need to get to. I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. Let me make that distinction. I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. Here's the thing. I can't charge you what it's worth to work with me. And you can't charge people what it's worth to work with you. And let me break that down. We aren't cattle. Like at this point, humans are no longer being sold. 
And when they were, that was atrocious, right? So what we are doing is we're providing a service. We're putting a rate on that service, but we have to be divorced from the rate. And here's what I mean. I can't feel like this is how you get out of like working for every dollar or working for every hour. If I feel like I'm charging my personal worth, then what happens is people start to think that because they've paid for a service, they're entitled to all of me. And that's not the same thing. So you don't want to set up unhealthy boundaries with your clients and with, and this goes for individual clients, B2B and B2C. You could never pay someone their worth, but you can get your rate. Here's the other thing about this. And I don't know, I think some of you just like working a little too much. (laughs) I was talking to my husband about this and we were talking about something and someone was like, well, if you don't take this, like that's a lot of money. What are you going to do? Like you can't just turn down, I think it was like $6,000 or something. You can't just turn down $6,000. Like that's a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. I was like, look, first off, 6K is not life-changing money. And number two, I don't like working enough to work for less than my rate. (laughs) I just don't. And it's not like I couldn't use the time. Some of you are thinking like, whoa, what if they don't come back? Or what if they leave? Or what if they go with someone else? Or what if they hire my competitor? Or what? Who cares? It really isn't going to be that bad. It's not. All that's going to happen is you're going to have less work. And that's not a bad thing. (laughs) And I think, I mean, I, I genuinely, when people are like, oh, well, can you... Can you do this? Or can you can you throw it around the back? Can you do this? Can you make it like this? Can you? No, because I don't like working enough to not get my rate. And we set up our rates and our processes for efficiency. There's a reason for everything. It's based on the time that we have. It's based on it's based on a whole lot of factors. Once we go outside of our process, that means it's a higher administrative cost because now my team has to do more work. It means it's a higher tax on my time because I still only have a limited. I have 24 hours a day. It never replenishes. So if anything I'm doing for you requires my personal time, that time once spent cannot be regained. You can't even pay me my worth. But yes, the rate is a requirement. It's just that simple. And I think that what what we have to get, the mindset shift we have to make is it doesn't matter to me. Like I'm not worth less if I don't have a fully booked calendar. I'm not worth more if I have a fully booked calendar. It's not like my worth doesn't change. Who I am as a person, none of that changes. And so you have to kind of divorce yourself from the rate. That way, when someone can't work with you, you're not like instantly pissed, right? And I think that that's really, really important because you don't want to be so tied to the outcome that if someone doesn't work with you, you're instantly upset. You can't believe it. You'll never get another deal again, which is why you need to have walk away numbers. When you set your rate, they don't change. If it changes, it could be your prerogative, but there needs to, I think there should be a reason, a rhyme, a reason behind it. And you're not going to be bullied into changing your rate. You can decide to change your rate, but you should not be bullied into taking less. So don't let people punk you out here in these streets. Like, nah, son, that's whack. First mindset shift. I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. That's a big one. So somebody write that in the comments for people on the replay. They need to see that. And we all need to affirm that. I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. Like that's the requirement. The rate is the requirement. The second one, I hold the expertise and thus I hold the power. I was doing a podcast interview recently with a really popular podcaster. And he said, you know, I can't figure out why a company would want to work with me when I'm just, you know, an individual entrepreneur. Like, what do I have to offer them? Why would they get on a call with me? Why would they like, why would they even want to work with me? It doesn't even make any sense. What are they getting from this? Like, I have to beg them to get on a call. The moment you feel like you have to beg somebody to do something, why would they work with you? All of that, all, that whole thought process, that whole train of thought is damaging because it takes you out of your power seat. If you've been to my events, you know, we talk about the power seat. Like you hold the expertise, so you hold the power. If someone's coming to you for your expertise, the expertise that you hold, and here's the beauty of expertise. There's millions of marketing experts. There's tons of lawyers, right? You can, you can find a lawyer. It's lawyers all over the place, everywhere. Lawyers everywhere. It's random lawyers. You know what I mean? It's lawyers everywhere. But a lawyer with my unique background and my level of expertise, you'll never find that. The way I approach contract negotiation, I know it's unique and I know it's second to none. I know it is. Why? Because I know that it's unique. It's not something that someone taught me how to do. It is my train of thought. I have combined my unique train of thought with the legal world to get my clients the best results. A lot of my clients can literally say, I have helped them negotiate contracts and make more money, period. I'm good at it. Great at it. Hey guys, I want to come in really quickly and tell you all about the Speak Your Way to Cash course. 
This course is for speakers who are looking to consistently book paid speaking engagements. In short, if you are ready to speak your way to cash, this is the course you need. There are over 17 modules, you heard that right, 17, that cover getting clarity in your speaking career, branding through the press, a seven-figure sales panel, selecting your niche and finding engagements, selling your signature speech and building it out, onboarding and offboarding clients, implementation and taking it to the next level. And then let me tell you about the 10 bonus trainings that encompass the 17 trainings that you're going to get. The bonus trainings cover things like branding as a speaker, the best tools for finding engagements, determining whether a topic is viable, speech writing for success, speaking techniques, self-publishing for speakers, sales success, landing association and college clients, navigating the conference market, and so much more. You even get the exact pitch templates that I use to land college clients over and over again and the press pitch templates that I use. So look, you can get this course by going to ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash S-Y-W-T-C course. ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash S-Y-W-T-C course. Or just enter Ashley Kirkwood Speak Your Way to Cash course in Google and it should come right up. Thanks guys for listening. Let's get back to this interview. I could go all day, right? But but it's, it's not just your expertise. So a lot of us are like, oh, I'm a marketing expert, but there's other marketing experts. I'm a fitness coach, but there's other fitness coach. I'm a trainer, but there's other trainers. No, there's not. There are, but there's not other trainers with your unique value proposition with the thing that you bring to the table, which is why it's so critical that when you're packaging your expertise, when you're figuring out who you're going to work with, you need to approach it, not just like everybody else, but you need to figure out what do I think about this? So I'm in this industry and this is how they do it in the industry. But what do I think about that? What do I think about the way they're doing it in the industry? And guess what? If you disagree with any part of the industry, lean into that. Lean into the thing that you disagree with. Lean into the thing that you hate seeing. Lean into the thing that you do not like. That is going to be the thing that helps you figure out your value proposition. We talked a lot about only statements in an accelerator that I was in, they were like, well, you need to have your only statement. Like, what are you the only person in the world that can do? And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And this is why intellectual property, trademarks, having that stuff on lock is really, really, really important. And even as a speaker, I was talking to a company today and I was like, yeah, I'm going to teach you the, I'm the only consultant in the world that can teach you the love framework. We came up with it. It's proprietary to our firm. There is no one else that can teach you this framework and how to implement it at your company. And so if that's, if the transformation from this, what I've told you, like if, if what I've told you you sounds good. That's what you want your employees to walk away with. Utilizing this framework, I'm the only one in the world that can do it. And that's because one, that is my framework. That is what I teach companies how to do, how to communicate using the love framework. There's no one else that can teach that. All of you have frameworks and signature speeches on the inside of you and things that you teach companies how to do and things that you teach your employees how to do. You want to make sure that you're leading into that. And guess what? Some of you may be so upset with the way your industry is going that it literally pisses you off. And you're afraid to even say, and I don't know, there may be some of you like this on here. This was how I felt about coaching, not going to lie. There may be some of you on here who are reluctant to call yourself a coach or a consultant or an ads expert or whatever, because you feel like it's overdone because the market is so saturated. There's so many people that say it and they don't got now receipt to back it up. Like some of you, y'all now receipt, like they ain't got one, right? Some of you are so frustrated by the marketplace that you won't even call yourself what everyone else in the marketplace calls your position because you're worried that people will affiliate you with the masses and you know you're nothing like them. So y'all are like skirting around it. Like, well, like for a while, I wouldn't even say I coach people. I was like, I don't really, I advise. You know what I mean? But really it's fine. It's coaching. It's okay. But I just didn't want to say it because I was like, but I'm not like, you know what I mean? And that's cool. You should lean into that. You should 100% lean into that and you should talk about it. Like every other speaking coach is going to tell you, you got to do 100 engagements a year. He wants you to do those engagements at $2,000 a pop. I want you to do two and get paid 100 stacks for both. Meaning you do two engagements, two clients, you make $100,000. Then I want you to license something so you can put that money on repeat. You're not finding coaches talking about that. Then you may find them talking about it, but guess what they're not? A lawyer who can actually draft the contract, period. I'm different. You know what I mean? And a lot of you are like, I'm different. I got something so different. I don't even want to be affiliated with them fools. Not calling anyone in particular a fool. Just saying, right? If that's you, if someone's like, that's me, that's me. I don't want to be like, look, if that's you, that's gold. If you do not like something in your industry, even in corporate, right? You have corporate clients. They're talking to all these other DEI consultants and experts. I tell my corporate clients that. I was like, look, 
you can go get any other DEI consultant and that's fine. What we teach is communication. And here's the other thing. These conversations can be hard, heavy, and if we're being frank, boring. Nobody wants to hear all the stats and why everything's wrong. I'm not going to come in and tell you that. I'm going to tell you stories that'll shift your frame of mind and I'm going to do it with humor and interaction. Over 90% of people who attend our trainings are highly engaged from the beginning all the way to the end. How do we know? Because we track the data. You may hire someone else and maybe they're good at consulting, but they're not a world-class speaker. We're different over here. If different is what you want, we can help you with that. Like, just lean into it. Because here's the thing. They're going to be thinking when you say that, dang, I don't know if they are speakers. They aren't going to make us laugh. They aren't going to use humor. And then you prove it. You prove it because you have receipts. You show them some videos where you make the audience laugh. You show them some stats where you had a lot of engagement. So I'm not just saying go out there and be like, I'm different. I do this. I do this for fun. Just, you know, like I'm not... <laughs> I'm not saying like tear the club up, like going like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that, but I am saying if you really are different and you really do have something that other people do not have, do not teach and cannot do as well as you lean into that. And if there's things in the industry that irritate you, talk about them. And guess what? Yeah, you could lose some followers or friends, but who cares? You need to be so clear on what makes you unique that you're fine. You're fine upsetting a few people. It's going to be okay. They're going to figure it out, right? You don't want to be like everyone else. And so I hold the expertise and I hold the power. And what does that mean? That doesn't mean you lord it over people's heads, but this is the mindset shift that really helped me. I realized, okay, if I am the one with the expertise and not just the expertise, but I have something unique that makes me the only one in the world who can teach it like me, who can do it like me, then I'm not necessarily pitching these companies. I'm inviting them to an experience. I talked today in a training about the paid framework. And so this framework actually is one of the frameworks that we teach in the Speak Your Way to Cash Academy, right? And instead of pitching, I'm starting to use the language that we invite people. Like we don't just pitch, we're inviting you. And I think an invitation is a better representation of what we do because I'm not just pitching you, hoping it sticks to the wall, asking you to do all the stuff that you don't want to do. I'm inviting you to have a call with me. I'm welcoming you into an experience that'll benefit you. An invitation is something that everyone wants. Pitch, hmm. Not everyone wants to be pitched, right? Okay, great. So that's what I mean by you hold the power. And if they go to someone else, that's fine, but they will not get the experience that they're going to get with you. And so you want to work to, on the back end, make sure your experience really is um, as good as you say it is. So that's what we have to do on the back end. Number three, number three, number three. I'm okay with losing the wrong clients. That needs to be your mindset. I'm okay with losing the wrong clients. The right clients for you are going to have a couple of different things. They're going to have your budget, right? They're going to respect your values and they're going to respect boundaries. <laughs> They're going to respect boundaries. If they have one, but not any of the other, they're still not the right client. So if they have your budget, but they don't respect boundaries, they're not the right client. If they have the budget, but they don't respect your values, they're not the right client. And so you have to get to the point where it's like, I'm okay with losing the wrong clients. And what that looks like is like what that tangibly looks like, what this looks like tomorrow is that if someone comes in my inbox and they're like, I want to join Speak Your Ready Cash Academy. I got $500. What can you do? I'm okay with losing that person. <laughs> like, not the right client. Now they may be the right client eventually, but I'm not going to lower my standard because like they don't have what it takes to join now, right? And it's not that these the wrong clients can't convert and become the right clients, but if you see signs that they are not the right client, never get so desperate that you take the wrong person's money. You cannot operate like that. It can ruin your business. In a very tangible and real way, it can ruin your business. Some people have inklings before they even sign the contract. They're like, mm, this ain't a good fit. Like if someone came to me and was like, you're the 15th lawyer I've hired. All the other ones sucked. I had to fire everybody. I would be like, oh yeah, I totally understand. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take your case. You want to know why? Because maybe one was bad. Maybe even two was bad, but 15 weren't. That's you, player. <laughs> like... I'm totally okay with losing the wrong clients. And I know for a fact, and it was this that really helped me to solidify this concept. Okay, I know for a fact, if I let the wrong client take up space, I could lose the right client. So I have to keep space open for all the right opportunities. I have to keep space open for all the right, and the right opportunities are coming. I wholeheartedly believe that. Why? Because I'm consistently doing the right things to attract the right opportunities. Like we're consistently doing the right things to attract the right opportunities. And so I know the right opportunities are coming. This is just a timing thing. So a lot of people feel like they have to hurry up and rush and, and you lose this client. When's the next one going to come? And when's the next one going to come? If you have a, a 
you may have an issue with cash flow. That's something a coach can help you handle. That's not, I don't want to say it's not a big deal. It probably feels like a huge deal, but that's not insurmountable. No. So someone said, what is the right client strictly based on price? No. The right client will have your budget. They'll have to be able to pay you, right? No one's working for free. They will also respect your values, whatever that is for you. Like what are you, what's your value system for your company? Like mine is God, family, career. Like that, those are my values. If anything that someone does impedes my relationship with God, impedes my relationship with my family or damages my career, they are not the right client. They're not aligned on value. So they can't work. I, I don't care what their budget is. It won't work out. And then outside of that, it's the budget, the values, and it's the boundaries. So if there's someone who like won't book a consult, they have to DM me 500 times on a Sunday and they are like, you didn't respond right away. I'm pissed. If they call the firm office like 500 times in a day, like anything that's, that shows me they're going to be like crazy on boundaries, like they don't respect boundaries, not the right client. You will get a refund. We will not be working together. So boundaries are really, really, really important because without, because here's the thing, you're not emailing the CEO of McDonald's if you have a bad experience. You're not emailing the CEO because you, I think sometimes people think because you know who the CEO is, that means you can circumvent all these people's processes. And that is not how businesses work. So when people are like, oh, you know, you're emailing me about links to join a webinar and you're not going through customer support. I feel for you. If I can help, I will. But a lot of times that's not even my domain. I don't even have the link. Like I didn't set that up. I'm not here setting up links for webinars. You know what I mean? So I can't help you even if I wanted to, because that's not even my department. Customer service handles that. But if you're upset because I don't personally handle that, like that's just a boundary issue. Now you messaging me doesn't mean I'm going to email you back like boundaries. I ain't answering this. No, that, that doesn't make sense either. Right. But at the same time, I may have to say, okay, yeah, we'll get this handled or I'll screenshot it, send it to customer support. They'll reach out, they'll email you. But you want to make sure people respect your boundaries. So no, it's not all about money. It's not all about money. I mean, it's, it's rarely ever all about money. And it's interesting because a lot of people think that because people charge premium prices, all they want is money. May, they probably just want peace. They probably just want to have a sustainable business that they can eventually sell and or leave to their children. And they probably want to create real employment opportunities for other people. And the reason, if you're upset by someone's pricing, you have to do a self-check. Like you have to figure out why does someone else's pricing upset me? That's really none of my business. I'm either going to pay it or I'm not. Like that's just how it is. So it shouldn't upset you, right? Like you should just be like, oh, okay, I can't afford that right now. But if I really want to do it, I'll keep watching and I'll save up and I'll do it. Just is what it is. Okay. So we talked about the three mindset shifts. Some of you all stay for the whole thing. Some of you are just coming on. One, I can never be paid my worth, but I will get my rate. They are two separate things. Two, I hold the expertise and thus the power. Never give up your power seat. And three, I'm okay with losing the wrong clients. And the wrong clients are not aligned on budget, value, and boundaries. Like though that that is my formula for the wrong clients. And you'll come up with your own. Like what does the wrong client look like for you? And if you've been in business for a long period of time, you've probably had a few clients that were not totally in alignment. And so you can look at the commonalities amongst those clients and that that's going to give you a lot of help. But if you're a speaker and you're like, okay, this is dope. I want to learn more about working with you. I want to learn more about what you have to offer and your frameworks. We are going to go behind the scene on our frameworks that we use to help our clients land four or five and six figure contracts, as well as what I personally use to land those contracts. And so you can, and these are speaking contracts specifically, you can go to the link in my bio on Instagram. It's the second link and apply for the private training. It is application. It is invite only. It is not open to the public. You do have to apply. We actually will be hand reviewing applications, myself and the coaches. And so that is what it is. I have that coming up in November. If you are accepted, you'll get all the information, but you got to do that. Okay. So that link is also posted on Facebook and on YouTube. And so it's very easy to find, but it's also ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash apply. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, it's ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash apply to apply to receive an invite for the private training that's happening in November. It is for folks who are interested in working with us and who are interested specifically in figuring out what are the ways in which you can work with us and what are the frameworks that we teach in our programs. So are there any questions, any, any questions at all? Any questions at all? I'll do some Q&A before I head out. If there are any questions. Yes, I can never be paid my word that I can be paid my rate. All right. Okay, dope, 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 dope. So I'm not seeing any questions. So I am going to hop off. I hope you all have an awesome night. Have an awesome evening. And remember, you cannot be paid your worth. You can be paid your rate. And the rate is a requirement. All right. Wasn't that interview amazing? If you're anything like me, you have pages full of notes. But here's the thing. Before you head out, I want you to go to Facebook.com and join the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group. That is where I am. That's where a ton of other speakers are, a ton of other 
people who listen to the show, all we all congregate there and chat. And it's 100% free. Now, if you're ready to take your speaking career to the next level, I have two ways for you to do that. One, you can go to AshleyNicoleKirkwood.com slash SYWTC Live Replay and pick up the live replay. That training is seven modules, chock full of information. It's crazy. Go over there, read all about it. Or if you want a more personal experience, you're already... You already know that you want to be a speaker. You're ready to fully commit and you want someone to walk you through it and save you tons of time Googling and doing it on your own. Then book a VIP day with me. You can go to AshleyNicoleKirkwood.com. Scroll down until you see the VIP day section and get more information on that there. All right. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do not forget to leave us a review. That is how we keep this train rolling and get some of the best speakers in the world to get on this show. So please, please, please leave a review. Shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram and Facebook in the Speaker Way to Cash group, Instagram at, at the Ashley Nicole Show. And I'd be more than happy to chat with you and say hi. All right, y'all have an awesome, awesome day.